Hello friends, my name is Salman and you are watching my channel Solid Tech. In this video, I will discuss about a VMware Workstation uh, new version, uh, new features. So let's get started. So the first feature uh, come with the new version is called Auto Start Virtual Machine. Basically, the Auto Start Virtual Machine feature allow virtual machines to be started automatically when your host machine boots. This option found in Find and Configuration Auto Start VMs. For the VM start automatically, you can set the auto start action and select the start order of the virtual machine. You have selected the auto start functionality. This can be virtual machine for Windows or Linux. Basically, in previous version, when we uh, restart our host, our virtual machine uh, does not start automatically. So, in production environment, for example, if I have a three virtual machines, uh, for example, one is called Active Directory, other one is called Database Server, and uh, the last one is called the uh, application server. So whenever I, st I uh, restart my, I, I reboot my host machine, uh, in that case, uh, all these three machine are stuck down and uh, I have to manually restart them. Also, the uh, order is also very better. So basically, uh, first we have, uh, we have to install our uh, uh, Active Directory machine. After that, we have to install our uh, database server and after that we have installed our uh, start our uh, application server so this is the very uh, critical problem in vmware workstation because in uh, vmware esxi server this uh, this feature is available but now in new feature of vmware station 17 this uh, feature is available so i will show you where uh, this feature found in uh, workstation 17 so as you can see i am login to my machine uh, with the workstation pro 17 so if i go to the file menu and there is an option which is called configure auto start vms so in this uh, screen i have a uh, basically uh, at the moment i don't have any machine because i don't uh, install any vm but when uh, in my next video i will install uh, the vm then i will show you there uh, these are the vms and we can also uh, change their uh, start and startup order so this is the very uh, good feature which is uh, embedded in new version so i am looking for this feature uh, for very long times now uh, finally uh, the vmware released this uh, feature in their workstation version so this is the very important and uh, uh, important function embedded in their new version the second function is called new guest operating system support so basically VMware Station Pro has a new Windows guest operating system support for example which is uh, Microsoft Windows 11, Windows Server 22, Red Hat Linux 9, Debian 11X and Ubuntu 22.04. This expanded support for the additional operating system will be welcomed by the customer who seek optional support for Windows 11 and Ubuntu 22.04 particularly VM tools, ETC and uh, VMware. So I will show you. Uh, basically, I have two versions. My, in, as you can see, this is my previous uh, old version, 16. So, if I, I will create a machine, I create a machine, then uh, I have to choose Windows operating system. And uh, when I click on the drop-down list, you can see I have only Windows 10, 64-bit. Uh, and in the server, uh, the last machine is Windows Server 20, 219. So this is the, uh, there is no uh, version of Windows 11 and Windows 2022. So in the other end, if I will go go to my uh, Workstation Pro 17 machine and if I create a virtual machine. So as you can see, I will go with typical installation and I will install next. So as you can see uh, on the top, now you ha I have a option for Windows 11 64 bit version and in the server uh, portion you can see uh, I have a, a option for Windows Server 22. So this uh, problem is overcome in uh, new version, Windows uh, VM work, uh, VMware Workstation 17 version. Also if you uh, select the Linux operating system, you can see now I have a Linux Red Hat Linux 9 support which was not present in previous version also uh, as you can see uh, all the uh, latest version is embedded as you can Debian 9 so these are the embedded in uh, new version of operating system so 
now they have support all the latest version so this is the very good feature uh, which come with uh, vmware workstation 17 now the third uh, feature the third feature is now uh, new virtual trusted platform module basically tpm 2.0 Workstation Pro now include a virtual trusted platform module version 2 devices to support the Windows 11 and other operating system that require a TPM. In the last video, I will discuss about the TPM. What is TPM? Basically, TPM is a hardware chip embedded in a, uh, a motherboard of a computer system. But now, uh, as the VMware uh, give the support of uh, Windows 11, it uh, also support the uh, hardware support for TPM 2.0. So, in my upcoming video, I will show you uh, where this hardware is uh, present in uh, computer setting of a, a virtual machine. So, I will show you in the future where uh, TPM is exist on a uh, VM, uh, uh, VM, uh, VM Windows 11 VMs. So, this is the very important feature. After that, we have a full, uh, a new full or fast encryption, encryption feature. The fast encryption is a fantastic new option that sounds extremely ex exciting. Only the most critical part of the virtual machine and physical storage specs are encrypted when they are using the fast encryption. Basically, what is the fast encryption is basically in previous uh, version, uh, we have to encrypt all full uh, virtual machine, which is also very time consuming and very uh, CPU intensive and uh, required very high storage. But now in uh, new version, uh, VM uh, select the only uh, some configuration file for encryption. So in this way, the uh, the performance of the virtual machine is increases, and the time consuming uh, time also uh, do not uh, consume uh, too much time. So I will show you uh, this feature in my uh, new version. So if I create a new virtual machine. So I will go to the uh, Windows 11 64 bit and click on the next and this is the virtual machine name and this is its location. When I click on the encryption information, now you can see I have two options, choose the encryption type, all the file, uh, all the supported file, VMDK file, VMX, ETC. But now in VMware Workstation 17, we have uh, an option to uh, encrypt only selected file. For example, uh, we can now uh, encrypt it VMX, VMAM. VSS and RVM with the help of TPM. So this is the uh, very good uh, feature because it uh, it's uh, require very low overhead over CPU. So this is also very good improvement in uh, VMware Workstation 17. Now the second uh, the the last one is the support of WDM 1.2. Basically, what WDM? Well, WDM means Windows Display Driver Model. Uh, Workstation Pro 17 now support WDM Windows Driver Display Model version 1.2 for virtual machines such as NVIDIA Driver and AMD Driver. Now, for example, if your host have uh, these type of uh, hardware, it it uh, it can now support on your uh, virtual machine as well. So these are the some basic uh, feature which comes with the uh, VMware Workstation uh, 17. So this is the introdu introductory video of about the feature. So in in my upcoming video, I will show you how to download and install install step by step VMware Station 17. So again, thank you very much. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. And if you don't subscribe to my channel uh, right uh, yet now, then please subscribe it. Again, thank you very much for your time.